Um, today we have a special guest. Um, let's give a round of applause. Sacrifice as we ask of you. 
As we see here, he was talking to the entire world, not only to Americans. He believed that the United States was, um, was a role model for, of peace and hope for the rest of the world. Uh, now we're going to go over to some of the most important communication concepts used in the speech. Um, there are several concepts uh, that apply to the speaker and the audience. Um, the first and most important one was faith goes, which we all, as we all know, it refers to emotions. Um, he believed that he could change the nation and um, he also believed that everybody should have the same rights, no matter if you were on black or or if you were born here. Um, he also fought for those rights. Um, and he had faith in, faith in his people and said that anything was possible if we were together. Um, another concept um, was logos, which refers to logic and wisdom. Um, Kennedy knew exactly what his goal, goals were, and um, he worked really, really hard to make them happen. Um, he also had good um, body language and had good um, gestures. He also had um, good eye contact when he was giving the speech. Um, his, um, the tone of his voice was powerful. He kept the audience interested. Um, he was a really good speaker. Um, when we refer to the audience, um, they were um, interested and focused, which indicates that they were active listeners. To finish, um. There are several reasons why we believe that Kennedy's speech was a great source of inspiration. He had the gift to persuade millions of people, millions of followers and non-followers. He changed his mind by his persuasive words and articulated his speeches. <coughs> he brought faith and hope and liberty to his country by his speeches. He gave he opportunity. Uh, he gave hope, he hope and faith even to this nation that was falling apart after World War II. And he served as a role model to many presidents, the president politicians that want to proceed as to become president. And, it, and now, now we are going to, in conclusion, now we are going to conclude by giving you a brief summary of what we just told you about, about his life, John Kennedy, and Rado Adrian, why we chose him to be our historic speaker, explain the significance of the speech, and why we gave you the reasons why we think he's a source of inspiration. And one of his famous quotes is, as not what you, don't ask what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country. It's a great inspiration source for me. And it was a pleasure for me, like, for at least being 10 minutes in him, or even five minutes, it was a inspiration. I think many presidents wanna, would like to be in his shoes during his presidency because he was a really good president. He had so much to give, unfortunately. He, um, the, the opportunity was taken away from him. He said, I was so much because he fell. So um, I hope you learned something from this. And I hope that you guys uh, get a chance to read his inaugural speak. It's a really good speak. It motivates you to do many things. Like, it motivated the United States to send the first man to the moon. Uh, he, he also, by his, his speeches, he, he, he persuaded the peace around the world. And he didn't believe on wars.